So let's have a look in displacement in both the modifiers and as a material. Let's jump into the modifiers first. So from here, I'm going to click the modifiers, add modifier, displace. There we go. And you can already see how the cube has increased in size. Now I'm just going to go ahead and add in a random brick texture. So let's go new down to the textures. We have image or movie. Let's click open. And I'm just going to actually select the displacement texture. And you can see that nothing has actually changed with this mesh. And that's because the displacement modifier needs to have geometry. So tab into edit mode, subdivide, 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 subdivide. And now we can see that we've got a bit of a haggly mess. Let's come over into the modifiers strength. Let's bring that down to maybe 0.1. And now you can see that we've got some displacement on the mesh. Now, if we jump over to the second cube, we'll come back to this one in a sec. Let's go ahead and open up the shading tab. From here, we're just going to be looking at displacement. Shift A, search. I'm going to add in a image texture. And we'll add in that displacement that we've just added. From here, I'm going to go search. And we're going to add in our displacement node. There we go. Displacement goes into there. And I'm going to make the color go into my height. Okay. And now we can see that this is the displacement from the texture coming onto the mesh. Now we've got the displacement on both the initial cube and we've got the extra geometry. So if we kind of zoom in, we can see that, you know, we've got the bumps and all that jazz where on this one, it is purely textural. Uh, obviously we can see it's a little bit harsh. So, so the scaling I might down, bring down to maybe 0.1 and those bricks are just coming through. Now, if you've got the Node Wrangler add-on enabled, I'm just gonna delete these two. Select our principal control shift T and let's find our textures. Ambient, color, displace, normal and roughness. Uh, principal texture setup, bam, lovely. Everything automatically gets plugged in, even the displacement down here. Just trying to move that into a prettier spot. Might bring down this to 0.1 and we might just increase the scale of these textures to four. And there we go. So this is looking quite nice, a little bit bumpy, and that's because we haven't scaled the texture in the modifier. And if we wanted to change the scale of the displacement here, because obviously the textures now are a different size to the displacement, come down into textures, increase image, increase mapping, and here, X repeat, we're going to have four and four. And now we can see that these two match. Um, I think now it's a little bit too strong. So let's go back into the modifiers. Strength 0 0.01. 0 0.01. But then again, now we've kind of defeated that and we don't really need it. Now this was all done in Eevee. So what we're going to do is do a quick render. And then we can show the differences between Eevee and cycles and so this one is Eevee this is cycles and you can really see how cycles brings out more depth in the textures um, but once again that's your preference so there we have it a quick overview of using displacement as the modifier and also as the texture